Hi, come spend the day with me. Hi, welcome back to Katie Can't Read. I'm Katie, I can read. And let's have a day together. It's a beautiful, sunny Thursday. I have some plans I want to share with you wonderful people. But I also want to show you my whole day. So let's just spend the day together, okay? I just woke up like an hour ago, brushed my teeth, and came to sit back in my bed before I start getting ready for the day. I've been awake for almost two hours, mostly scrolling TikTok, but you know what? Noodle didn't have bones today, so I, I deserve this, you know? It's a no bones day. Just kidding, now I'm getting up. <laughs> So I ended up literally just sitting and vibing and watching some TV and some YouTube videos and all that stuff until like noon now. Well, no, it's like 11.30, give myself that. And now we're gonna go grocery shopping at Target and also go check out a bookstore that I've heard a lot about. I'm really excited. So let's get going. Hi, so we've gotten gas, excellent. Then we were gonna go drop off my roommate who just moved back to New York former roommate stuff that she left for us to drop off at Goodwill. But then I saw the Goodwill parking lot. I got in there and I nearly had a mental breakdown. So I said, you know what? That's a problem for another day. So now I think we're going to treat ourselves to a little bookstore, you know, which is the main reason I decided to vlog today. And then after that, we have to go to Target because I need food. And why would I go to a real grocery store? I could just go to Target. Anyway, that's their plan but I genuinely almost started crying in the Goodwill parking lot because it was like so small. There were no spots and I was like, I'm not gonna be looking out of here. I did, I'm no longer in the Goodwill parking lot. So mental breakdown successful. Although this one guy kept like looking at me and I was like, stop being a jerk. Stop judging me. I can't, I, I'm doing my best. I am doing my best, you know? We almost cried over parking again. Woo! I am a good driver, but a horrible parker. So I'm literally, I was like, this parking structure is only a dollar an hour. I can afford that. Um, as opposed to parking on the street for free because I would have to parallel park. I can't do that. So anyway, we're going to go to this bookstore called The Ripped Bodice. It is a romance exclusive bookstore in Los Angeles. And... We're gonna have a cool guest when we get there. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, bye. That's Catherine Zofri from YouTube's <laughs> Catherine <Hi>. Zofri. <laughs> We're we we matched today. Yep. As we should. 
Always. Yeah. <laughs> so free. Oh my god, it's I'm a star. I just left the Rip Bodice. I was there for like two hours, um, which is not a store that you would spend two hours in, but it was me and Catherine. And Catherine and I are known for talking for four hours when we shouldn't be. So I, it's a surprise that I left it too. Um, but yeah, I bought four books that I wasn't expecting I'm getting. I knew I was definitely gonna get something because you know, I'm a good customer. Support your local bookstores. <laughs> but I'll do a book haul when I get back to my car because you guys deserve that. And yeah, I loved it. It was so cute. And if you're in the Los Angeles area, you should definitely head down to the Rip Bodice because it was fantastic. And we'll do a book haul in about five seconds. It has been so long since I've done a little in-car book haul and I'm so excited right now. Okay, so the first one I got was actually a book that I kind of came in looking for. Um, so I knew when I, I knew I was coming today and I was like, well, I need to know what I want to get. You know, I'm going to buy something from my beloved Catherine, who is doing the greatest work over there. And so I knew I needed to get something. So I just started like looking online for, or like on my other wish lists for, hold on, for a um, romance book that I haven't read yet that I want to and that I've been looking at for a long time. And that led us to The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochran. Um, I have had this on the TBR since I got declined for it for Night Gallery. Actually, I was never declined. I was just put on pending and never taken off. So everyone has told me this is great and then I believed them until I found out and I was like, that's fine. I'm not gonna read it. And then I found out that one of the main characters is asexual or is figuring out their asexuality. And I said, well, come on. So then I ran to go buy it. Like that was the catalyst in why I came down here today. So that was book number one. This is also probably the most I've ever gotten for an, like an in the car book haul. The next one I picked up was I got a blind date with a book and I would have filmed opening it, but I wanted to open it in store. And the book that I, the blind date prompt was like, it, it caught my interest, okay? Like I was so invested. There was like two that I was debating on and one of them, I actually kind of liked the premise more, but I, there was the possibility it would be a straight romance and I don't think I can do it. Emotionally, I just can't handle that. With this one, I knew though it had FF and I was like, okay, we're safe, you know? We're safe in the brand. And so that, the, the premise was your aunt dies and leaves you her sex shop, sex toy shop, let me clarify that. And you have, to share it with someone you can't stand. And that leads us to Satisfaction Guaranteed, which I'm very excited about. It is a sapphic romance about some, some girls who work in a sex toy store, which, you know, live your truth. And I was excited when it was a rom-com, like that caught my interest as well. And then I grabbed one that I've been thinking about getting for a long time because I read the first one and I loved it and I've been, you know, just kind of like putting this off. I forgot it was existing, you know? You know when that happens when you're like, oh yeah, I'll read that and then you forget it exists. And that's Out of Character by Annabeth Albert. This is the sequel slash companion. You know when romance books have a sequel? But it's not really a sequel, it's just other characters in the book now have their own book. That's what this is. So one of the side characters from this book is about him and, or, sorry. One of the side characters from Conventionally Yours is the lead of this one and it is going to be a good time. I really liked Conventionally Yours. It was very fluffy and nerdy and those are some of my favorite kinds of books to read. So, love this, very excited. And then the last one I grabbed 
was kind of an impulse grab and it's called I Kissed a Girl um, by Janet Alexander and it is a Hollywood centric queer rom-com with an actor and a makeup artist and I was like oh I want to read it and so I grabbed it YOLO you know so I bought these four books and I'm very excited I've been in a big reading slump and I feel like romance might be the thing that gets me out of it I've been wanting to read a good romance for a while and I just haven't so that's that I almost picked up people we read on vac <laughs> people we meet on vacation but I just couldn't pull the trigger especially when I know it's like 10 bucks at Target so if I am gonna get it I'll just get it there um, support local bookstores to the most you can um, there was another book I almost grabbed too it was called ship it and it was a YA nerd romance I think and the naked cover of it was so pretty. That was the only thing I was thinking about. I was like, this is so pretty. I need to get it. So anyway, now we're off to Target to do my grocery shopping. And then we'll go home and just chill for the rest of the day. Um, so yeah. We made it to Target. best I can do so when I was at Target <laughs> I made a mistake and I got three more books <laughs> oops this is why I don't vlog very often anymore because it causes me problems anyway so I got some more bookies um well at Target because they had a two buy two get one free deal okay what was I supposed to do just not go for it <laughs> Anyway, also they had the book that I really wanted and then I was like, well, you know what? You can get more. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's discuss. So this one, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Um, friends to Lovers, we love Emily Henry. Shrope Beach Read, we love that. Um, I'm very excited about this one. I've heard only great things and I'm a sucker for Friends to Lovers. So, mm, thank you. Also, I love this spine. It's got little leaves on it. I don't know if you can see because the lighting is really bad. And then I got Light of the Jedi by Charles Soul. I don't know. This is the first book that was published in the High Republic era that Star Wars is doing now. And I've wanted to read it for so long. And I finally found it. And well, finally found it at a price I could afford because you know when you buy an adult hardcover book at Barnes and Noble and it's $30 and you're like I can't do this this was 12 cheers and I'm very excited to read these because I've been on a Star Wars kick lately as you all know and then they also had the second one The Raising Storm by Kevin Scott and um I just know myself I just know myself I will read Light of the Jedi and I'll be like oh I want more and then I'll just have to read this. And then I'll want more. And then I'll read the young adult ones that they've released. And then I'll read the middle grade ones. And then I'll wait until the third one of these is released. And then I'll be fine. You know? Especially because my queen, Claudia Gray, is writing the last of those. So anyway, those are the books I grabbed. Um, night plans. I am going... I already ate dinner. And I ate dinner and I watched some Star Wars Rebels because I have problems. Um, so I did that. And then I'm going to play some banjo. And then I'm gonna maybe restart a book. I don't know, have a cozy night in. We'll enjoy this together. I'll play some banjo. Maybe I'll get it on video if I'm doing well enough. And yeah, that's, that's it, you know? I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in my pajamas now. 
Um, and I just started reading The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochran. I'm loving it so far. Loving it. Um, I played banjo for a bit. I played guitar for a bit. I talked on the phone with one of my really dear friends for like an hour. And now I'm just gonna read until I fall asleep. But I guess that's where I'll end this vlog. Um, thank you for spending the day with me. I had a really good time. And um, I hope we can do it again soon. I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. I'm trying to get back on YouTube more full time. Very excited to just try again, you know? Um, but I love you all so, 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 so much. And I will see you in the next chapter. Bye.